Well, hey, Virgos. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Um, if you are new, hello, I am Yasmeen. Um, if you could, please hit that like and subscribe button. Oh my goodness, Virgos. I have been through a lot in the past couple of days. <laughs> I have been MIA. Um, my, my, my 13 year old about, well, he's about to be 13. He moved to Arizona to be with his dad and his other siblings. And this is something that he'd been wanting for a very long time. And, um, yeah, you know, having, having that, being able, being able to, to finally say, okay, you can go, but my heart has been very weird lately. <laughs> okay. Like try to accept what has happened is like oh my goodness my baby even though he's not a baby he's not he's you know almost tall as i am he's very tall beautiful intelligent you know young man i love him from the bottom of my heart him and his father are extremely close so but man i'm telling you i've been through it for the past three days i've been through it so i was like i need to to kind of like take some time to myself you know, and I'm free as a bird. I could do whatever I want, you know, but it's still this like bittersweet um, thing. So I have so much planned for myself, even though we're going through this whole, um, this whole, you know, pandemic thing, but I have so much planned. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know um, what's been going on. I have not said this to every sign, um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I guess I'll just go ahead and maybe make an announcement on the community board. But yeah, cause I have been, have been away. Technically it has been three days since I have not done any type of reading. So the re readings that I've done before were all pre-taped. So, um, but yeah, so Virgos, we're going to go ahead and get into your reading. I have here the animal, um, Oracle deck or I think, yeah, Oracle cards, I love these cars so much and the very fact that they, they're animals, the kitten on here, the cat is just beautiful <laughs> and I'm highly allergic to cats so I can only look at them from far away. But we're going to go ahead and shuffle a little bit Virgos and then we're going to pull from the top to see what your message is, pretty much like your foundation card to see what your message is for today Virgo. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the top. I have King of Autumn. Ooh, Virgo, this could be you, okay? Gypsy Vanner Horse. I think it was another sign who got this. It says, everything's going to turn out great. Ooh, good news. <laughs> it says, whether it's your projects, anything like that, anything you guys are working on will be stunningly successful. This is talking about exciting new careers, our possible money, uh, investments, and whatever you invest in, that will be um, great also. Oh, this is amazing. Um, really good to hear, especially for me. Really good to see that King of Autumn. It also talks about commitment, things of that nature. So what we're going to do is start your reading. Um, we're going to start off. And Virgo, yes, you do have a feature video that's attached to this video. And when I tell you it is amazing, it is amazing. And the title of the feature video, um, I want to say it now and at the end of the read, it is entitled, I think I titled, um, Loving You Was Unexpected. And when I tell you that reading was is amazing, okay, <laughs> it is amazing. So let's go ahead and start to read. Okay. All right, I have the strength card, which did not want to go back in the deck. <laughs> and I have the page of wands. This is talking about um, some type of spark, some type of inspiration, new ideas, things like that happening. So we definitely see some type of activity, movement here. Let's go ahead and get some more. Ooh, Virgo. <laughs> Let me show you what's here. Oh, yeah. I do see that you're working really hard on your money. Um, and, you know, of course, I, I see this is what the King of Autumn was saying. I love the fact that different tarot decks speak to each other because then it's like this is always confirmation of success or love. You know, whatever it is that you guys are wanting, it's always a confirmation of that. Sorry, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I was looking down. Okay. Um, and we definitely see that here. 
So remember, we were talking about job opportunities, new opportunities with making money or finances. That is going to be huge, okay? Something that you're going to be facing. But Virgo, I definitely see that there is possibly um, someone coming towards you, okay? With the Page of Wands and that Nine of Pentacles, you know, it represents um, offers too. If we're talking about love, um, but here with that Knight of Pentacles, you know, it's a little apprehensiveness. It's a little slow. So there's something that you may have been wanting, a particular person, um, but it may have taken a while. But I definitely see it coming in and it's going to be great because whoever comes in wants to build with you. <laughs> so I definitely see that it's going to work out. But we have the devil card and the devil card represents struggle. Okay, something that you're struggling with because right above it is the strength card. Resistance. You're struggling with something. Your person is struggling with something. There is a struggle here. Someone, you know, they, there are two different ideas. There's two different feelings and thoughts about what they want in life. But it's something that you're thinking about very heavily. Something that's very close to you. Um, that's very close to your heart that, you know, that you may want, okay? And you're thinking about it a lot. Um, so here with the devil card, I feel like even though you're struggling, it's, you know, don't be, um, have a little compassion on you. And your person does too. Your person has to do what's right for themselves. They have to have a little compassion on themselves. If there's things that they are dealing with, whether it's any type of obsessions or, you know, unhealthy traits, anything like that, you know, they have to be able to release that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get some more cards here. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely someone coming. Yeah. Money is surrounding both you and your person. Financial security is is surrounding you and your person. Um, your whoever this is that's coming here with this Knight of Swords, it's it's um, and I'm not going to say quick, but having these two cards here, it's like the person is getting ready to okay. Um, but when they get there, they're going to stay. You know, like this is kind of long term that type of thing. Um, this person is single, has a lot of people that are interested in them. That's kind of around them. When you see that reading, you'll get what, you'll get what's going on with that. Okay. That, like I said, the title of that is loving you was unexpected. <laughs> okay. Cause looking at this, you can kind of see that a little bit and definitely with this. Okay. This five of wands is talking about conflict. There's something here. There's people here. Remember, you and your person both have different struggles, okay? And there could be people who are in competition for your person. But see, with you, I I, true, I strongly feel that you're not going to be in competition for someone's heart, okay? Um, they're coming back to you, which means there was some type of disruption. But um, I definitely see woof, financial stability here. That's amazing. Here, this is a movement. This is not stagnation. This is coming towards. And look at where you're going. Four of Wands, stability, marriage, commitment. Okay? Or long-term committed relationships. Some people don't believe in marriage. Some people believe in long-term committed relationship. But look at all these pinnacles. Your first card that came out, remember, was the King of Autumn financial security. This is not your read. I mean, their read talking about them being financially successful. It's also yours. And I feel like both of you guys are very much alike. So Virgo, what we're going to do is just go ahead and clarify these cards. Let's see. Somebody you may be dealing with may have Leo in their chart. All right, let's go ahead and, oof, this is going to be love. This is love here. This is love all the way. Oh, yeah. 
someone wants to come in and talk to you, maybe apologize. Maybe something has happened in the past. Oh, let me see. So the camera is kind of, there we go. There we go. Someone wants to come in. There's going to be some type of conversation. That page of cups is a cup. That is actually talking about some type of love offer motion here. But the very fact that the justice card is there lets me know that that is possibly someone you already know. And because, sorry, got to do it with one hand, someone you cut off. Okay. So there is someone coming in to possibly apologize here. Someone that you cut off. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the page of wands. Yeah, definitely uh, an energy of reuniting with someone here. Ooh, speaking of which, oh my God. Okay, spirit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here with the Three of Cups talks about celebrating, having something to celebrate. It talks about reuniting. This is talking about new adventures. I've been getting this a lot in my personal readings, a lot. You know, I don't do my own readings. I can, but I have beautiful, a beautiful oracle. Um, but, you know, new beginnings, which, of course, I was just talking about in the beginning of the reading about me. But here, this is talking about love, okay? Someone coming in, and this is amazing because not only do you have the Three of Cups, which is having something to celebrate, you have the Lover's card. So there's gonna be a reason why. Some of you guys are gonna be meeting someone new, someone fresh. That's also what talks about with the page energy, someone who has to learn you, okay? But it's going to be amazing. This read so far is so good. Both of your readings, oh my gosh, Virgo. I know you guys are going through a lot and I know, um, you know, I know how you feel. Virgos, a lot of us suffer from the same type of, um, you know, woes. A lot of earth signs have been going through it. And I think now we're really focusing on ourselves and good things. The universe is, is really wanting to come in and just, you know, pour its blessings on us. Okay. Because it's like, it's about time. <laughs> It's like, it is about time here at the bottom of the deck, the Hierophant, it's commitment energy. Some of you guys, this is something that had ended. This is something that was dead, gone. This person wants to come back in. This is also a Scorpio card. Okay, some of you guys are dealing with Leos, um, possibly Libras, Scorpio. This is, they miss you. This is disappointment. So whoever's coming back in, this it was over and done with and this person wants to come back in and they want to be serious about it this time okay they want to be serious okay but this is something that has definitely died out now this is also talking about something that has died out and then something new is able to enter but when you clarify this type of card for a lot of you this is talking about someone maybe coming in. Now I'm going to tell you, I see, I sense more than one energy. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the eight of pentacles. Yeah. So I do see a lot of working in the meantime, and I feel this with you Virgos, you know, time is always the rough, roughest thing to deal with. A lot of anxiety, a lot of sadness. Some of some of you guys are have been dealing with, and this is just talking about balancing out your energy. And the universe will give you whatever you need, whatever you deserve. Or go here with this six of pentacles. Okay, let's go ahead and get the double card. Oh yeah, this is going to be you're going to be relieved from this. No more overthinking. And I feel like, too, your person who has these issues, there's going to be a change with them. Like, you know, they're, part of the devil energy is talking about prison. Okay, so if they're able to relieve themselves of something, to, to, get, to break free from a toxic cycle, toxic whatever, they will be able to break free from that. Okay, let's go ahead and get the Knight of Swords. They're going to their empress. And at the bottom, it talks about truth and clarity and being honest. OK, 
Okay, let's go ahead and get to the Nine of uh, Pentacles. Woo! Look at this, Virgo. You have love coming in your life regardless of who this is. Again, like I said, this could definitely be talking about, um, you know, reuniting here. And this is the Six of Wands. Your person, though... In the past of the way it ended, your person may drink a lot. They may get a lot of attention, okay? This may have caused them to not see you for what you were, but they have love for you, okay? They have love for you. But this is you being very successful in your endeavors, Okay, let's go ahead and get the chariot. Hmm, interesting. At the bottom of the deck, this moon means a lot. <laughs> this came out a lot and that, that um, feature reading, the moon means hidden secrets. So it does look like there is someone coming in, Virgo. It looks like it possibly could be more than one energy. Um, but I'm going to leave it right there. Okay, this reading is absolutely amazing. Um, please make sure in the comment section, you guys are going to see that it's pinned. That feature video is entitled Loving You Was Unexpected. It was an absolutely beautiful reading. Uh, so I'm just going to leave this here. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. If you guys are new, again, please like and subscribe. And I will see you back here again tomorrow for another reading. All right, bye guys.